Welcome to Bella's Bargains, where everything is from the Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people. A dollar. This is Effingham. He, my cow, he goes with me sometimes. Hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing. Don't let them in. Don't let them see. Be the good girl you always have to be. Conceal, don't feel. Don't let them know. Well, now they know. Are you singing yet? Let it go, let it go. Can't hold back anymore. Let it go, let it go. Turn away and slam the door. Well, I don't care what they're going to say. Let the storm rage on. The cold never bothered me anyway. It's time to see what I can do to test the limits and break through. No right, no wrong, no rules for me. I'm free. Let it go, let it go. I am one with the wind and sky. Let it go, let it go. You'll never see me cry. Cause here I'll stand and here I'll stay. Let the storm rage on. The cold never bothered me anyway. See, I'm wearing a frozen shirt. Bob, can you guys see? Oh, this happens every time. Welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy. I'm at Disney World. Look, do you like my hat? Yeah. I'm at Disney World, but I'm filming this before I go, but currently I'm at Disney. See, it's frozen. Let it go, let it go. That's like the best shower song, isn't it? It's like, I'm in the shower, I know I can sing this song. I'm, I'm what's her name, Idina Menzel? What's her name, what's her name? Idina Menzel, I said it right. I'm Idina Menzel when I'm in the shower. Or in my car. Mm, no, not so much. More in the shower. The acoustics are always better in the shower. Okay, you guys, welcome to Bella's Bargains. I already said that. I'm going to say it again, though. My name is Amy. If this is your first time here, I hope you were singing along. And if it is your first time here, stick around. You're going to like it. I'm like a bad train wreck. You just can't look away. You want to look away. You're like, oh, that's annoying. Like, did she just start singing? Yes, I did. And you think it's annoying, but then you're going to turn, you're going to end up loving it, and you're going to come back time and time again. And we have so much fun. Hey, besties. How are you today? Bella's besties is what I call on my subscribers. You might want to be part of that inner circle. Become a bestie. So all you have to do is subscribe, then hit that all button so you get notified every time I upload. And I upload at least four times a week. And if you look, if you look down below in the description box, it's going to tell you about the uploads that I do every week. Sometimes I upload five, six, and seven times. And the one thing you should know about this channel is it's Dollar Tree. And everything is Dollar Tree, right down to my DIYs and crafts. Everything, all the supplies come from the Dollar Tree. I can hear all of you saying it with me right now because why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people, a dollar. All right, so today you've landed on Foodie Friday. And for those of you who are new and don't know, I'm currently at Disney World with my guy and my grandson and my daughter and my son-in-law. I'm sure we're having a blast, but I did some pre-filming so you guys would have content while I was gone, so I don't want to lose any of you. I love you guys. I want to make sure you're still here when I get back. So today is Foodie Friday. Foodie Friday is food reviews of Dollar Tree. Imagine that. Hmm. Didn't I just say that? Dollar Tree food. So I've got some stuff here for you, um, but before we get into that, I just want to say a couple things. Let's see. First of all, that Disney song, um, let's see. Kathy and Teresa, you guys said you love it when I sing Disney songs, so there was another one for you. By the way, I'm keeping track. That's three Disney songs now that I've sung for you. If anybody has any requests for a song, just write them down in the comments. And um, also, don't forget that April uh, on August 18th is the Apple Challenge, so I should have a video up not to be, um, uh, in like four days from now, right? Five days from now. Um, there'll be the Apple Challenge. And um, Effingham, how are you today? I have to check in with Effingham every once in a while, but today is his favorite day. And do you know why? 
because Evingham was named for Foodie Friday. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can link down below in the description box and there is a link to the video where Evingham's name was born and he has become part of our program here, right? I think he doesn't say much though. I'm just gonna tell you that. Like every once in a while, I think I should just include a shot of him. I don't know. And I'm not sure he really likes the human food. So there's that. All right. Um, don't forget, subscriber challenge. The theme this month is back to school. All you gotta do is create something that it has the theme of back to school and you're gonna share it with me on my Facebook page, which is linked down below. And then we're gonna do a video of everybody's crafts at the end of the month. All pictures need to be sent to me through a Facebook Messenger page, my, on my Facebook page through Messenger before the last Saturday of the month, which I believe is August 28th, right? Yeah, August 28th, pictures are due, okay? Um, Tuesday winner, let's see, nope, never mind. I announced Tuesday's winner probably already. I don't, or did I? Nope, I didn't. I'm not sure. I did not announce Tuesday's winner. I don't know how this is gonna work. I'm gone right now. I'm trying to do all these things ahead of time. All right, let's just get, let's just dive right into this, shall we? Ah, so what am I trying today? Well, let's go over it. First of all, I'm gonna try, I think this is like the last tuna thing that I haven't tried. It's the sweet and spicy Starkiss tuna. Um, I, my drink today is going to be strawberry peach. Now this sounds really good. So I'm going to make my drink so I can clean, cleanse my palate. I have some snack foods. Um, some, I have tried their almonds before, which they're amazing, but these are salsa almonds. I was like, wait, what? Yeah. So we're going to try those. My guy loves banana chips. And so I was like, you know, I rarely buy them and I'm like, I'm going to try these. I haven't tried them before, have I? No, I don't think so. No, nope, I don't think so. Anyway, so we're going to try the tropical chips. Then I found these two, and I was like, hmm, I haven't seen those before. They're pretzels. This is open because I ripped it accidentally when I picked it up. Okay, so these are Quinn um, chocolatey peanut filled and peanut butter filled. Well, I can guess which one I'm going to like better. I'm going to guess, but you never know. Last week, I thought I wouldn't like the Flamin' Hot Cheetos, and that was uh, macaroni and cheese Cheetos. Yes. Go back. It's linked down below if you want to watch the Foodie Friday where I did Cheetos mac and cheese, and it was... The, the fiery hot whatever one. Anyway, it was really good. I was totally shocked. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to try is the Loma Linda, which I have tried some of these before, but this one's out right now, and I've seen it all over the place, and it's the Hawaiian Bowl. So we're going to try it. Um, so we'll talk about it as I get into these. Okay, so first, let's make our beverage, shall we? Evingham, any thoughts yet? Hmm. I can't, you know, one of these days I'm just going to hear a boo from the side. That'll be scary, won't it? Oh, I don't know. So, Effingham, <clears throat> um, I really think you should be more involved. I'm like, you always, Effingham is like right here. My In my intro, that's like that. I stand like, that doesn't even make sense, does it? Well, anyway, in my intro. I should redo my intro so you can see where I stand, like I'm in my kitchen. Because you guys are all in the kitchen with me. I'm trying to open up this box, which isn't happening very easily. All right, this is Welch's. And it is the strawberry peach, zero sugar, no aspartame, good source of vitamin C, low calorie drink mix, singles to go. There's six in a package here. These are, it's a recycled carton, by the way. Isn't that good to know? They're distributed by the gel cert company, which I had so many things at the Dollar Tree are. Five calories per stick. <laughs> I forgot to grab my scissors. You know, I always do that. Okay, five calories per stick. Let's see what this one does. Um, there's already lipstick on my lid because I took a sip of water. All right, they always they always turn color in the water. Always. This one really has a peachy color. Wow, it's a pretty color. And then I'm gonna do a craft and I'm gonna put a drink in it just so I get this color water and like a vase or something. It's a good idea actually, right? You can change the. Okay, never mind. All right, let's try. This smells good. Mmm, vodka. This one is like, seriously, what time is it? Feel like I could try that for you guys and let you know. Any, do, you want me, do you want me to throw some vodka in this and tell you if it's good? I don't drink vodka. I drink Captain. You guys all know this. I drink Captain Morgan. However, I always have vodka here for my friends. I don't have any friends. You are my friends. You're my besties. I don't even know what you people drink, so I can't have it on supply for you. I just wanted to stick with coffee. All right. That is good. Wow. So I have been, I have so been stockpiled on the, um, I'm going to show you which one it is. This sun-kissed orange peach mango. I have had like for like a couple months now we've been drinking these and I have two things of water in the fridge and 
it's like 50 ounces of water and we fill it up with water and we put two of these packs in it and we that's what we drink like constantly instead of soda and but it might it's time for a new flavor and this one is wow it's good mmm there's something very tropical mm, it's good you guys this is better than the orange vodka would be amazing. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Trust me on that one. All right, Welch's knocked it out of the park. That's pretty good. Now, that's Welch's, and this one is um, sun-kissed. So, anyway, really good. All right, where to next? So, these are the Maddie K's almonds. I ripped it already. Um, and Maddie K's, were. I tried their almonds, like, months ago, and they were so good, and they were such a good price. I've never seen the salsa ones before. So I was like, ooh, we're gonna try those. And um, I read this story when I tried them before and it was like, they're out of California, I think. And they named it after their daughter's name is Maddie. So anyway, yeah, Madison Grand Avenue chocolates out of Laverne, California. That's where these come from. They are made in the USA. They have a Bible verse on there, Matthew 6, 33. I don't know that one, do I? Anyway, there's 170 calories in one serving, but there's two servings for the whole bag. The bag is two ounces, so it's 170 calories an ounce. But they're almonds, and almonds are better for you. So there's an allergen statement. This product contains, um, contains almonds. Wait, what? <sighs> May contain almond shell pieces and other naturally occurring foreign material. All right, well, these are salsa and they grow their own almonds these are salsa almonds so obviously they have a salsa flavoring on them so let's see what they look like this is what they look like i mean nothing too different about what they look like actually you would not know that it's salsa on them if you didn't read the package i mean by the looks of them This is not a strong salsa taste. So good. Mmm. They're almonds. You guys. Their almonds are so good. Right now. Oh my gosh, those are really amazing. Oh, I knew, I knew they would be because their regular almonds are so good. They just taste so fresh. By the way, these are good until... Um, 923 of 22, so we have some good shelf life on them. I love that. Right now, I'm just going to Google really quickly. Almonds, price um, price per pound. The almonds all in my mouth now. Of almonds. Like, I'm wondering what it runs right now. So, this was a dollar for two ounces. So, it would be... Um, well, when you 12, so it'd be six dollars for a whole pound, right? Hmm. Wow. Um, Blue Diamond at Walmart is ten forty three for a full pound. Kirkland. I wonder what size this is though. I'm gonna look at the Kirkland because that's um, isn't that Costco, right? I think so. Kirkland forty eight ounce. Ooh, well that's a good buy. Maybe we should get them there. <laughs> um, it was. Somebody, I don't know, somebody must have bought them and they're reselling them. Anyway, it's $14.99 for 48 ounce, which is four pounds. So that, yeah, so that's still, but anyway, whatever. If you went to the grocery store, like, this is a pretty decent buy. Um, raw almonds on Nut Stop are $7.19 a, a pound. So I just thought I'd let you know, you guys, this is pretty good. These are really good. Just roasted almonds, three pound bag, $19.99. This would be 18. So it's a decent buy. And that's Maddie K's. They're so good. Oh, those are so good. The salsa taste is not overwhelming. It's very, very light. Like, super light. I should cleanse the palate, right? Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Okay. Let's get the tuna out of the way. Because I don't think I'm going to like this. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I really don't. It's Starkist. But I was trying to try all the different tunas. And I've been doing it. And this was, I think, that there might be one more that has tapatio, which I can't find it. But this one is, yeah. Well, come out, tuna. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Movie. I can give it away. And meet the young lady who fell from the stars. Maybe I've already done that. All right, 140 calories. Um, 
I guess in the whole thing. So that's not bad, right? Kit includes a 2.75 ounce can of tuna, ba bang, five crackers, ba bang, and a spoon, ba bang. I just want to make the Toy Story character forky, sporky. I don't remember what it is. Um. Anyway, omega threes. Okay, ready? Let's just do her. I'm gonna put this one on a cracker because normally I just, but I'm gonna do it. I just don't feel like I'm gonna like the. I won't open you guys. Oh, come on. Actually, I think the last time I opened a Star Kiss can, I had the same problem. What's it? What's with their cans? I don't know. What do you guys want? They hurt the can. Are, are, you, are you hungry for something? Just, just you have to see their, their cute little eyes looking at me right now. I'm going to film these little monsters. They came running because I opened up that can't can't find my camera for all the tea in China. Oh, now they're howling. Mm -hmm. What do you want? I'm looking at pink slippers. What do you want, you guys? You heard me open up a can, right? You know, Daddy gave you wet food this morning. So what are you going on about? Yeah, Friday. Food. Look at that. Look at those two little purple things. Except for that one. You're a monster. Okay, sorry. There, you'll see that. I'll insert it later. All right, let's get back to the food tasting. So the tuna salad swing. Did you guys like watching the side of my head there? <laughs> I should just insert it right there in the film. Then you're not looking. That's what I'll do. I'll try and do that. I think I can edit that. All right. So here's when the hell have I done it? I'm talking about it after. Wow. This is so confusing, this whole thing. Um... All right, so this is what it looks like. It looks disgusting. I'm not lying, it does. Um, there's like little black pieces in here. Oh, what is that? Like, what? what is, what are the black spots in there? See that right there? Like, what is that? Mm. I feel like tuna skin, I don't know. Okay, whatever. Don't dwell on it, Amy, just get past it. I didn't put that on my cracker though. <laughs> okay, ready, let's go. Mm. Mm. That is so disgusting. Mm -mm. I just felt like I was eating. Oh, it's so fishy. Why is it so fishy? It's darkest. Maybe, I don't know, but it's fishy. Maybe this is dolphin tuna. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't anybody get upset. Um, it was like a, it was eating um, those other little fishy things that are gross. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. Oh, that was disgusting. Let's move on to something better. Since the peanut butter are open. Ooh, do not buy that stuff, people. I have to put this in right away. Mm. Okay. Made in the USA. Seven servings in here. Eight pieces is one serving. It's 140 calories. Mmm, that's not good. Pretzels reimagined. Okay, here's the story. Fish taste gone. Okay, when my son Quinn was born, I set out on a mission to clean up my favorite childhood snacks. It took years, but the proof that anything is possible is in your hands, Christy. So these are um, farm to bag transparency. These are Quinn creamy peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. Um, they're best by 12, 20 of 21. Um, Twin Foods is out of Louisville, Colorado. Hmm. Okay. They're good. I'm just saying they don't taste as salty as like regular pretzels. You know what I mean by that? They just don't taste as, there's not like a ton of salt on them. Hmm. This one's broken open. Broken. This one's, bro this one is already broke open. So that's the peanut butter inside. Mm. 
Mm hmm They're good. They're gluten-free, corn-free, dairy-free, and vegan-friendly. Oh, let's read more. Pretzels made from root vegetables and sorghum filled with creamy peanut butter and topped with sea salt. That's why they taste a little bit different. You know what, though? They're good. Wow. Okay. Now, for a high-end seven-ounce bag of peanut butter-filled pretzels, dollars cheap. Way cheap. Mmm. What a beautiful surprise that was. Mm, mm, mm. Should we go to the to the um, chocolate ones? So everything's the same, except obviously they're chocolate filled. These are best by 117 of 22, so a month later. Which I guess, you know, that's the kind of stuff that happens. Okay, let's try these. Mm -hmm. I don't like the chocolate as well. Chocolate tastes funny. <laughs> I was trying to break it open to show you the chocolate. It's really pasty looking. Like um like a cocoa um paste before they make a chocolate or something. Mm -hmm. Well, I would guess because she's trying to make it healthy, so it's not pure, yeah. Um, okay, and filled with delicious peanut and sweet cocoa mix. See, it's cocoa mix, it's not chocolate. They, it, oh, it's dark chocolatey. That's also definitely a dark chocolate taste to it. But I'm going to throw them both into a bag, you know what I mean? And mix them all up. Take them on the plane with us. I know I haven't left yet. You're seeing it. I'm there. But filming before I left. Um, I think those would be a good snack. Okay. I'm going to take a break. And go cook this. So let's talk about this just a little bit. But those, man, those peanuts are pretty good. I like them. Um, this, the whole container has 360 calories. Now, I've read this before when I held the Loma Linda foods. I held some other stuff. The Hawaiian bowl I'd never seen, so I'm hauling that now. But let me tell you about it. The Loma Linda community has been an inspiration for our brand. The community has embraced a plant-based lifestyle for many generations. Our brand will continue to carry the message of nourishment through plants, sustainability of our plant, and deliciously crafted recipes the entire family will enjoy. Somebody answered, when I read this last time, one of my subscribers, can't remember now who it was, mm, sorry, said, that's not true, Loma Linda eats lots of meat. But that's just the thing they're putting on here. So this is all vegetable. There's like nothing in here. This is a Hawaiian bowl of pineapple and brown rice. It's ready in 60 seconds. Non-GMO, gluten-free, 13 grams of protein. That's nice. The taste of the tropics. Classic fried rice gets a tropical twist with pineapple, bell pepper, peas, ginger, and plant-based pro protein. Simply heat and eat on its own or pair with fresh spring rolls. So this is distributed by Atlantic Natural Foods in um, Nashville, North Carolina. Not Nashville, Tennessee. I remember saying that last time. This is good until May 27th of 22, so that's a good long lifestyle. So all I have to do is tear the pouch two inches, stand it upright, microwave on high for approximately 60 seconds. Let's go do that. Okay, so while this was doing it 60 seconds, I pulled this up for you because I want you guys to see this. So... Um, first of all, check these out. Loma Linda, the first one is Amazon six pack, $14.98. Well, that's more than a dollar a package. The next one is Instacart, $2.99. That's more than a dollar. Um, Loma, which the next one is plant based soups online, $4.49. Walmart for a six pack, $21.70. And Loma Linda Blue Plant, $8.99 on Amazon, $17.20. Anyway, what I'm getting at is a dollar. A dollar, people, a dollar. It's such a good buy. It's such a good buy. Guess what I forgot? Because I always forget this. 
A spoon. I don't even know why, why, like I need like a, oh my gosh, one of these days. One of these days, Alice, one of these days. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, it looks kind of gross. <laughs> I mean, it does. It doesn't look like the picture. Look, the picture makes it look all pretty and sweet. And then, and, sorry, I'm holding it with a towel because, and then that's, ugh. Like, what the heck is that? Maybe if I put a bowl. If I put in a bowl, it would look better. Yeah, let's just put in a bowl. Okay. We'll put in a bowl so we get a better view of it. I mean, this is probably what I'm eating for lunch anyway. Because the pretzels weren't enough. <laughs> and I'm not touching that tuna. Ugh. So gross. And this is only 360 calories. Did I tell you guys that? 360 calories for the whole pouch. And I get 13 grams of protein. I'm thinking that's pretty dang good. All right. It looks better out of the package in the bowl. Super hot, by the way. 60 seconds and it got so hot. So it smells like mush. I'm not lying. It doesn't smell great, but maybe it tastes great. I don't get Hawaiian bowl when I smell it. Now, based on the fact that it's all vegan and I'm sure they're trying to get us away from meat, the first thing that comes to my mind is it needs chicken. <laughs> yeah, this really good vegan meal and I threw chicken in it and then it was amazing. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Okay, here's what I'm gonna say. It's slightly too mushy. Does that make sense? Like it's too mushy? Like it's like, ugh, can we just get more of a, um, a sturdier rice? Um, it has not the best flavor, sort of blandish. When you get a bite that has a little pineapple in it, it's better. Um, but for a dollar and 13 grams of protein and a very healthy meal, then I'm like, yeah, yes. I, I will buy it again. Actually, I bought a bunch because it's like, because the shelf life is good and, and it's like a great lunch thing I can throw in because you can microwave it at work for 60 seconds and it's a healthier lunch. Okay, so one more time. Mm-hmm. All right. So, um, I would, yes, it, it is something that I would buy. If you were buying it specifically for taste, I'd be like, no. But if you're buying it for health reasons and is it edible, yes. Did all that make sense? I think so. Yeah, I think we're good. Um, but I'm, I'm going to finish it for lunch. But honest, I'm not going to lie. If I sent it in his lunch, I would, I would send chicken with him to throw in there. That's bad, isn't it? Well, or is it? We're just not, we're not vegans. We're not even vegetarians. So, all right, the one last thing that we have is Tropical Chips Plantains. These are best by November 21st of 21. This is a three ounce bag. It's the alternative snack. Okay, the plantain is a delicious fruit from tropics similar to the banana, but with a very distinctive taste. It can be eaten raw, but the plantain, either green or ripe, is generally eaten cooked. When we make our pleasant tasting crispy plantain chips, we start by carefully selecting the highest quality green plantains, which are then peeled, sliced, and cooked in 100% non-hydrogenated vegetable oil. There's zero trans fats. You will find that our tropical chips offer you a new, healthy, and exciting alternative to other snacks. All right, so these are manufactured by the Era Food Corporation out of Miami, Florida. These are made in the USA. There's three servings per container. I mean, yeah, three servings per container. It's 150 calories per container, and I love companies that give me the whole package. So it's gluten-free, cholesterol-free, trans fat, and vegan. What, what am I on, a vegan day? No, I, tuna, technically, vegetarians will eat tuna, right? Don't they? Do they? I'm not sure. Anyway, well, we had a lot of vegan stuff today. Wasn't intentional, just the way it came out. All right, let's try these plantain chips. Come, Mr. Teleman, tell me some plantains. Delight, come and me want to go home. Okay. Oh. 
Well, they're plain plantain chips. I don't understand it. No flavor. No, like, no flavor. But, I mean, plantains aren't, like, they're not like bananas. I get that. So you're going to get the banana taste, but. Mm -hmm. Nope. Will not buy again. It tastes like I'm eating something stale. Very starchy. It's not even, like, great for you, is it? The alternative snack. This is the throwaway snack. Ugh, I'm sorry, people that made this. I know it's made in the USA. I'm really sorry. But, mm-mm. You'd have to cover it in something to make it taste good. So I'm gonna, mm, that's a no on that. This is a yes. Okay, let's go through everything. Ready? Mmm. The strawberry peach Welch's things. Yes. Double yes. So I'll be buying a bunch of these to do our, you know, our water things, which is, by the way, it's such a great idea, you guys. I know I've showed you before. I'm going to show you one more time just because I think it's such a good idea. So I buy, and I bought these at the Dollar Tree. These are their containers like this. I think they're 50 ounces. Does it say on it? Can't read it. Anyway, so I have two of these. So we fill it with water. We put two packets in. It would normally take three, but two is plenty. And then we drink this instead of drinking soda. Um, and so, like I said, I've been doing the orange sun kiss for a while, so I'm going to do this. But, um, I mean, like for kids too, like just go in there and they can always have something sweet, and it, but it's not full of sugar and carbonated. All right, so this gets two thumbs up for sure. Yes, yes, yes. Love that, love that, love that. Um, Where did I go next? I think I ate the tuna next, right? Disgusting. No, I ate the, no, I ate the almonds next. Yes, two thumbs up. These are so good. Very, very, very good. Love these, love these, love these. And the Maddie K's, the regular almonds that I've purchased there before, also really good. So any, I'm going to guess any of the Maddie K's um, almonds are going to be good. But I've only seen the regular and the salsa. Are there more out there that I don't know of? Um, they're a great snack, and I love to throw them in his lunches. All right, tuna. Disgusting. Stark as you should be ashamed of yourself. Charlie, the tuna, what the heck are you trying to feed me? Mm. Hey, Effingham, would you like to try Would you like to try the tuna, Effingham? It's not beef, so it's not cannibalism. Come on. Even Effingham turned his nose up. This is just gross, you guys, okay? It's just gross. I'm not even going to save it for my guy. I'm literally going to throw it away. It's that disgusting. Ugh, no. Okay, oh my gosh, the peanut butter pretzels... Two thumbs up, yay, yay. All right, but I'm gonna tell you, if you're a real pretzel lover, I mean, if you just love your pretzels, you aren't gonna like these. I like pretzels, but I'm not like a pretzel, like, oh, gotta have them. Um, and the reason I would say that is because these are like, these are a starchier pretzel because it's made from vegetable root, right? So, look. <laughs> They're harder to chew than a regular pretzel. So FYI on that, but healthier. I love these. I feel like not everybody's gonna love them, but I do love them, especially the peanut butter. So that's my take on them. If anybody's tried them, let me know in the comments down below what you thought. Um, and then where to go? Oh, the Hawaiian bowl. Okay, so this, I'm gonna give peanuts, I'm giving two, I mean the pretzels I'm giving two thumbs up for, for me personally. Um, Hawaiian bowl. Mm, God, this is hard. I'm giving it one and a half. I'm not really thrilled with the taste, but it's not unedible. And it's not that it's bad. It's just not good. It just doesn't taste good. But it's such a good buy for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. It's so healthy. And how many grams of protein did I say I got? 13 grams of protein. What a healthy substitute lunch thing. Although I'm going to put chicken in it for my guy. doesn't matter. So I'm, I'm just saying I think it's an incredible buy. It's not going to be a Dollar Tree long. Um, so it's up to you. Maybe buy one, try it quick, and then run back and buy more if you really like it. All right? And then these. No. Does, do any of you like plantains? Is it just me? I, I'm not, should I get one more? One more, just for good measure. Two more for good measure. Still no. Mm, still no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Are they an acquired taste? Like me? Maybe. Mm -mm. I mean, I want to dunk them in something. Like Nutella. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not. That's two thumbs down on those. I just can't. All right. What the, I think this was like the... This and these are the two best out of the whole day. The pretzels are next, but I don't think they're going to be for everybody. The tuna can go back to the sea. Ugh. This is, again, I think this is like a healthy choice. Two thumbs up. And these are just gross. All right. That's our Foodie Friday, guys. So, right now, let it go. Let it go. I'm going to go right now. Because I'm going to film a haul. And it's all Halloween. Let it go. Let it go. Ba -da -ba 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 all right, guys. That was so much fun. So let's see if I can insert the cats when they interrupted me here. I hope I can. If not, it's going to be at the end of the video. You guys, everybody have a great day, great week, a great life. I am at Disney World, so you know I'm having fun. Don't you totally love my Magic Kingdom hat? This is actually Disneyland, though. But anyway, so I got to go take off this shirt because I can't get it dirty because I'm packing it for Disney, which I'm there. But it's so confusing. All right, guys, as always, from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. I looked. By the way, they don't have one at Disney World. What?